What is up, YouTube? This is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. ATO Car Collector. Today is Tuesday, September 6, 2014. I just want to take a moment of your time to go over my recap on my mail for the past few days, as well as some in-person graphing I did with the Atlanta Braves. So without further ado, where do I start? Well, first thing, I got some bunch of stuff from Target. I got some, like, grab bags of different stuff. I'm not going to show everything, but just some of the highlights I got. I got one of those little baseball cues for ten dollars. Got these rookie cards here and here, and also got some tops football as you can see here. And these are some of the cards I got. The rookies. I didn't get any hits per se, but I got some rookies and some more from the grab bag. This is one of my favorites. This is a Trevor Hoffman rookie card. He's the second all-time um, saves leader in all of Major League Baseball. A short file of first ballot Hall of Famer. This is tops rookie card from '93. Now, this car was mass-produced. It's not really worth a whole lot of money, but it's nice to have. I'm definitely going to keep this for the PC. So, keep that in mind. And I went to the Braves games, like I said. And here's some of my extra game programs that I got. With Alex Wood on the cover. And this one has Jordan Walden on the cover. So, if you need any game, um, Braves games programs, if you're trying to trade for them, just let me know. And let's see what else we got here. Got a bunch of stuff here. Let's go with some of my mail here. Well, actually not mail. This was in the Tops um, Blaster as well. This commemorative kickoff coin. I haven't even opened this. I'm not even sure if I'm going to open this or what I'm going to do with this. So if you need one of these, I'll listen to offers. And let's see here. I got this David Carpenter in the mail. I was trying to get this guy to sign in person. He didn't sign in person this weekend, but he usually signed. So I got a couple more shots at him. So hopefully I'll be able to get him before the season's over. And what I did get in the mail, Alex English Auto Certified. I got Archie Bradley, who I'm trying to PC because he's from the same part of Oklahoma my daddy's from. So I'll definitely um, look out for Archie Bradley cards. So if you're trying to deal some of them, let me know. And we can hopefully work something out. Here's another guy that I like right here, Raymond Felton. Certified Auto him. Jupari Parker, rookie. I got one of the Dumakay sisters. This is um autograph card from the WNBA. Dante Exum. Alex English certified auto. Kendall Marshall. Um, to be honest, I think he got a raw deal in LA. He was averaging like 8.8 .8 assists a game, and the Lakers just tossed him aside when the season was over. I mean, I know the Lakers were garbage, and he probably padded his stats somewhat, but you still got to be a halfway decent ball player to get 8.8 .8 assists in the, in the league, no matter who you play for. So he got a raw deal. Hopefully, he'll go with Jason Kidd in Milwaukee, and he can just max him out, and he can maybe get 10, 12 assists, and perhaps go to the All-Star game. He just needs to improve his defensive scoring, but if he works on that, he'll be a good ball player. Speaking of good ball players, is already in the Hall of Fame. This is a guard, Hal Greer. One of the greatest in the history of the NBA. It's the NBA Grace Auto. Another Jabari Parker. It's just the same thing as what I get. Actually, these are different, different cards here. Archie Bradley Auto. Another Archie Bradley. And one more Archie Bradley for the road. Raymond Felton again. Julius Randle rookie. Adrian Danley auto. Jared, Jared Cosart. And I'll talk about him later on too. Uh, hold on. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm on. I got, I'm on. got something to tell you about him. Nothing bad, but I'll tell you about him shortly. Rick Berry Auto. Now, this girl doesn't like signing autos in person. Decided to get a certified auto on her. This is Skylar Diggins. I mean, I like Skylar. She's a good ball player, and she's kind of cute. I'm not going to lie, but she just has an overinflated ego. She thinks she's bigger than the game. All the top stars, or 9% of the top stars of WNBA signs, this girl will come out maybe sign one or two autos and then turn her nose up at her fans, and I, I just don't think that's right. Speaking of some else who doesn't like signing autos, Andrew Wiggins. Well, I'd never been around in person, but I heard stories about him. But I'll give him a chance. Um, they're gonna uh, Minnesota's gonna play the Hawks, and I might be able to go around there and see what's up with him. So I'll let you know if he signs or not. 
Nate Thurman certified auto. Here's somebody who does sign autos, but I missed them, unfortunately. Bryce Harper, but I got one more chance of watching it on bobblehead night, so we'll see if I can get him again. And again, my personal favorite, Archie Bradley. And another Archie Bradley. And another one. I believe these are the same card. So, I'll list no offers for this. I'm not really in a hurry to trade this because I am PCing them, but if you make me a good offer, we can talk. Archie Bradley again. And there's a Braves prospect, Sean Gilmartin. Craig Kimball, the reliever. Hopefully he'll be in the Hall of Fame one day, but he has a long way to go, but he's on pace to go there. Rick Berry Auto. Now as far as my Braves pickups, I went to a bunch of games here. Now this was, um, actually I got an extra ticket um, for this game. Not extra ticket, but I found this ticket after the game was over. What happened, if you didn't see on the news, the Braves were actually no hit on Monday Labor Day. So they were just pretty much skunked. And it's the ticket stuff for that. And the actual ticket stuff, and when I use, which I'm going to hold on to, I'll probably get one of the pitchers who helped with the perfect game to sign this, but this one I'm definitely going to hold on to this. And what else do we got here? This is a Braves bumper sticker. And I got this t-shirt here. One of those little promotional shirts. Chevrolet established 1911. Nice shirt. I'm going to hold on to this. Got a towel. And let's see here. Oh, yeah, I got a couple more things I've got to show, too. I'm not going to go through all these, but these are some of the little grab bag cards from that $10 box that I got from Target. I got a couple of $10 boxes. And so I'm looking at Ty Griffin. He went to Georgia Tech here in Atlanta. And he's from Newton, Georgia. And again, there's just some of the rookies I got here. I'm not going to show all these. I mean, this is just base stuff from the 80s and 90s, nothing to jump up and down about unless you collect this type of stuff like I do. And here's a game program from the Braves game that got signed from some of the ball players. And also Tops football base. And I did a rant about stuff like this, and they still keep making these damn cars looking like this. This is what a football car should be. See this? This is right. This and this is wrong. Are you listening, Tops and Panini and whoever makes football cards? Cars should look like this. Okay? Thank you. And let me go some more of my autographs. This is Freddie Gonzalez, the manager of the Braves. He autographed ticket stub for me. And this is Gavin Floyd. He did the ticket stub and the hat for me. So big ups to Gavin. And Shea Simmons signed the ticket. I always give him the signed tickets for whatever reason. We don't have that many cards in them. And, on a, and let's see here. I got some more autos. I just grabbed these game programs for players who I don't have cars of and coaches I don't have cars of. And it's from Philly. It's the Philly players. And I got the guy, um, Tim Kirkshin from ESPN, to sign this as well. He was working on the game. I got an autographed bumper sticker from the Braves. This is Albert Hall, I believe. And this is another autographed bumper sticker from Alumni Day. And let's see, I'm getting to some the good stuff now. Let's see here. Right here are some of my autographed cards I got over the series. I got Evan Gaddis. Now, the funny story with him, he never signed, so he never signed for me. He was coming out, and I was like, he's not going to sign, and I didn't even pay him any mind. He came over to sign, like, oh, shoot. So I had to run, dig through my cards. I got this real quick. I was looking for another one. I found another one. Like, hey, can you sign another one? But he walked off, so at least I got one sign. And this one was from a trade. I did for a guy down there. He traded his Lewis Castillo autograph card, and I hooked him up with some stuff he needed. And he also traded, I mean, for this Brett Butler, I got this from Trade, and this Brett Butler I got in person later on that day. And it was funny with Brett Butler, I actually, I remember the name watching him um, playing when I was younger. Um, I mean, I, I know of him, I didn't, you know, follow him like I did Dwight Gooden or somebody like that, but I remember Brett Butler, and I was like talking to him like, Coach Brett, I remember when you when I was a kid, which I did. And he was like, oh, what's your name? Like, oh, she was going to personalize. But he just asked my name. He signed the card. So that's that. So big ups to Brett Butler for that. Got Javi Lopez on Alumni Day. Sid Bream. He did sign two or two. I 
Got the other card somewhere around here. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. He signed this one, and he signed the Topps Gold. And let's see here. Let's get these in order here. And after the game, I got three from Big Ben Revere. Now, what happened with that, um, I went outside because it was still light outside, so I was able to graph a little bit after the game. And then some Philly fans was out there, and and the story, they said, um, Ben Revere threw them the ball on doing warm-ups, and they was going to get it to sign it. So that was good for me because they could point them out to me. And, and when they came over to sign for them, I was able to get them to sign for me. So that kind of worked for all of us. So big ups to the Philly fans down there. I got, uh, let's see here. Okay, here it is right here. Three from three from Braves coach and foreign player Scott Fletcher. Now we're getting the good stuff here. Julio Tejan, who's an all-star pitcher for the Braves. Also, Darren Ruff, he signed this one after the game. And it was so funny. Well, this one he signed before the game, this one. And he signed this other one, this Heritage, after the game. It was so funny. He was signing. And then, and I don't know why you ask a ball player what's the name. They only get their first name for some reason. I'm like, what's the name? Like, Darren. I'm like, I'm trying to remember. But I forgot he signed before the game. So what happened afterwards, I was digging through my stuff. I found a card of him. I ran, chased him down. I'm like, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. I'm like, hey, man, can you sign this for me? And he was with his family. He was like, yeah, I got you. He signed. He was cool. I think I was like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, it's all good. So he was real cool about that. And also, Jared Coza, I got certified. And I got this in-person auto. I had another card of him, but I gave it to a guy down there that needed it. So he got it signed. So um, he may have signed too, or he may not. So. The other guy got his auto, so it's all good. And we got AJ Ramos. Roger McDowell, who's actually starting to sign a little bit now. And the best one, Hall of Famer Don Sutton. And finally, last but not least, it was also Bobblehead Night on that Monday. And here's my Bobby Cox um, bobblehead. I'm not going to take this out of the package right now. I'm just going to leave it as is. So, you know, that's my mail and my recaps. I'm going to go ahead and put it on Instagram. Instagram will be up first. And then this video hopefully will be on in a day or so. So that's that. And then I'm going to go pack everything up and lay down and go to bed. Got an early day tomorrow. So this is your boy, Mr. Veggie Man, a.k.a. T.O. Car Collector, a.k.a. The Cucumber Creeper, a.k.a. The Autograph Whore, a.k.a. The Playgirl Cinefold, a.k.a. The Man with Multiple Baby Mamas. And you can also check me out under ATO Car Collector. On Instagram, that's my new Instagram. The autograph whore has been retired. And you can hit me on kick under Mr. Veggie Man. I'm go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Be blessed, stay safe, stay responsible, and I'm out of here.